I dream for all of us to own wardrobes with garments made from sustainable sources, including fair wages for the makers. I aim to motivate and inspire viewers to see the clothes they wear as an expression of their personality and their beliefs. This is the Slow Wardrobe. Come and have a look. Hello, welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to play dress up again and the focus is going to be on the layer cake apron with lots of different styling and wearing ideas and combination with other layer cake items, how you can actually successfully layer an apron as well, rather than only wearing it with basic garments underneath. You can wear things on top of it too. Um, further in the episode, I'll be talking about the yarn that this project was made of. This is the Gingham Wingham, one of my patterns. It was knit in uh, a yarn called Yak Blend 2, which is a blend of silk and yak down. When I first introduced this pattern and the kits, I promised extra colours. They're finally here. They're available on the website now and I'll be showing them later on in the episode on screen. But first, lots of apron ideas. Enjoy. A little freeze frame here at the start to give me a chance to tell you what I'm showing you. I'm wearing an apron on the tightest setting, so the tightest buttonholes, which pulls the whole apron up a little bit and creates a high-waisted look. You can see that the pockets are higher as well as a result, and I'm going to show you that first, and then I'm going to drop the apron and show it lower down. So as you can see there, it creates a high-waisted garment and they are cut so that that really works. You can see that it looks really nice on the back and um, it still kind of pulls around you and it puts the pockets at a higher level. The whole apron gets a little bit shorter as well, so on me it hangs to about uh, my knee level. The uh, buttons are all the way at the top of my shoulders if I wear it like that. And now I'll show you what happens when you t change the uh, position of the buttons and drop the apron further down into a longer garment. Speeding things up a little bit to get to the finished look faster. The difference between the tightest and the loosest position of the buttons or the buttonholes is four inches. So that drops the garment by two inches in total, two in the front and two in the back. And you can see that it still sits just above my waist. That's fully intentional for the straps to nip in your waist, as you can see there. The pockets have dropped a little bit, as to be expected, and the whole garment is a little bit longer. So it's now a little bit longer than my knees rather than onto my knees. And I'm showing there as well how effective it looks with a top that is not completely fitted. That's quite a loose and baggy top that I'm wearing. Now I'm changing the look of the baggies. I've changed the baggies from the shorter version to the longer version. So with this full length version, you see a little bit more of them underneath that longer apron. And even if you have the apron shorter like then, it just creates a slightly different silhouette and both of them I think are really effective. Okay, I'm starting here by quickly showing you how I put an apron on, it makes it kind of easy. I lift the bottom part of the apron over my head and then I grab the cross of the straps in the front and lift those over my head like that. It makes it easier rather than having to try and wrestle yourself in in one fell swoop. Just do it as a two-stage approach like that. So what I'm wearing here is the black gingham and uh, same size and again uh, at its lowest setting with the loose top that I had on before and the short baggies in the same fabric. So again that's the black gingham fabric as well as the black gingham for the apron. And I'm going to uh, show you in a minute how that looks, that com combination looks with the long baggies. But this is it with the short baggies and with the loose oversized top. There are the longer baggies with the same outfit. 
slightly different silhouette. There's not a massive difference, but especially in the back, you get to see a little bit more trouser if you wear the full length ones. Same nipped look in the back with the apron pulling in nicely. Next up is the apron in our linen denim fabric. We use the inside of the fabric to show at the top of the pockets. And here I'm showing the same apron with a mini tabard over the top. It's not a combination that people often think of, but it's very effective. It's a really nice combination of having the plain lines of the mini tabard over the slightly poofy look of the apron. And even with an outfit like you have here with not a lot of contrasting colors, it looks really nice. I've made a change here from the gingham baggies that I was wearing in the previous shot to the long high lows that are made out of exactly the same fabric, the pinstripe, as the mini tabard to see how effective it can be and how nice it can look to have that same fabric coming back at the top and the bottom of the outfit, kind of tying it together. It also shows the high lows as a really nice combination with an apron. What I'm next going to show you is how with those three garments, you really have three different looks. You can wear the trousers with the apron, as I was showing before, or the trousers with the apron and the mini tabard on top. But a third outfit is to have the trousers just with the mini tabard. Same fabric for the bottom, same fabric for the top. It kind of ties both things together and looks really good, despite the fact that they're two separate garments. It makes for a really good look and something like this works with the high lows but it also works really well with the baggies or with the skirt. Um, I think that right strap is twisted. Can you fix it? There you go. That looks better. Okay, this apron is another one of our cross weaves, especially made for the aprons. It is quite unusual because it combines a blue warp with a brown weft. And the resulting color is really special. That smug smile is because I'm about to show you one of the colors of the Yak and Silk blend that has newly been dyed. And that combines those same colors because the undyed Yak is quite brown. So when you then dye it, there's very often a brown hue underneath whatever color you are dyeing. And in the case of this particular blue, it just beautifully matches that apron. More of those colors later. But before we show more of the yarn, first some more layering possibilities with the apron. What I'm wearing here are the high lows, the pinstripe high lows that I was wearing before, with over the top of those a full length that's the longest one on me, full length play suit in the large check, but leaving them undone, so not zipped up at the bottom, and then a hemp apron over the top of that. It's a great example of a proper layer cake, three layers on top of each other, and they all peep out from under each other. And what you'll find is having three layers like that on your torso and your legs is that you don't need a thick top to wear to cover your arms. It keeps you nice and toasty. I was blissfully unaware, as you can see, that one of the straps was flipped over on my back, but it doesn't really take away from the outfit. It gives you a good impression of what I'm trying to show. What I'm going to do next is to remove the trousers and zip up the play suit without the trousers underneath to give you more of an idea of what we had before, uh, the look with the baggies in combination with the apron. But in this case, it's a whole play suit. So it's again to show the versatility of a play suit that can be worn 
as a pair of trousers in combination with an apron just as well as it would be would look with a tabard or a smock and of course the play suit can be worn without the apron as well getting ready to show you some more of the yarns that I gave you a peek of before um, wearing the same play suit again but with the gingham black gingham apron and now combining that with the gingham wingham scarf that took its inspiration of the black gingham fabric uh, it's a real uh, uh, stunner of a look really to repeat that fabric in a bigger version in a scarf you can see that it's an asymmetric scarf. One of the wings is longer than the other one. That's done intentionally so that it can be worn at an angle, as you can see. Those were the two colors that that sample has been knitted with. So it's the mole color, the natural uh, color of the yak silk and the color dyed in black. And what I've got left in my hands are the first five new colors to be added to the collection. There may be more colors to follow, but these are the first five and they all beautifully go with the linen cross-dyed fabrics. The one I'm holding there is the one that I showed before that goes with the apron. The one there is the teal, then the red, the gray, and the Air Force blue at the top left. So it's a great start of an extension of the collection uh, which now comprises of seven colors in total if I add the mole and the black there. The colors are all available in 50 gram hanks on the website and I will also put kits together for the not only the gingham wingham but also the Gramps Revive cardigan of which I will have a sample knitted in these yarns in the next episode. Thanks for watching!